I'm just budding psychologist. I'm uh, still working on a lot. I'm still doing my doctorate, and uh, there's a long way to go. And uh, my almost my uh, pinnacle or the actualization point is definitely Dr. Ismail sir. Uh, he has been a role model to me at different levels, and uh, the, the motivation and the speed in and the the variety in his speech is something that has always inspired me. And the way his impact the speech. Uh, he gives us something. Uh, it's a motivation for all the children and staff and anybody who's interested in the community. I think he's a role model. So thank you very much for this. I would like to start the presentation. I would please uh, recommend to all the participants. Participants, kindly mute yourself. Shreya, Shreya, please can you? Shreya, Shreya. So yeah, yes, can sir. you hear me? Can you... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank One minute, sir. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Just a minute. Uh, yes, ma'am, it's visible. Yeah, it's a slight visible, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yeah. it's visible, ma'am. Yes. Okay, all right. So uh, I would like to uh, uh, start uh, start by saying that um, mental health, as sir rightly said, is something we always try to elude. We try to keep away, saying that or virally, talavali, or if we are sick with a fever or anything. We readily we are okay to see a doctor, get an injection or whatever it is, and uh, the required things, and we are satisfied. But when you are held up in a crisis and we are unable to decide on something, there's a big taboo in going to a psychologist or a psychiatrist. So mental health, uh, the awareness was a real taboo earlier, but right now people are allowing themselves to get help. By psychologists and psychiatrists, especially the current generation, the Generation Z, they are uh, able to analyze themselves and have an insight and think that yes, I have this problem. What am I supposed to do with it? So they don't try to suppress or they try to shy away or uh, keep things away. They are pretty open about it and they would like to talk about it. That's something I'm really very really happy about the current generation. And during this COVID. What did take a very big hit was not only the physical health, but also definitely a lot of psychological issues came rising. And currently, even steeply, uh, domestic violence, suicides, and uh, there are other violence and child abuse cases are being constantly is on the rise. So uh, we are seeing uh, in TV, we open and it is like a scoreboard, the number keeps rising. And as the number keeps rising, even the death rate or how many people are infected, you can also see that there are a lot of other uh, uh, stances of health, uh, I mean, mental health issues like the, the, you know, violence. Uh, the recent uh, one I would like to tell you is Simon's case, where uh, it was very disheartening to see that we took all the service from a doctor, and but when the time he was died, I mean, the, 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 the last rights was not given. So there is a lot of doubts as to why human behavior underwent so much of change during this COVID. We started to hoard a lot of rice, dal, dry fruits and things like that. We, we, were, we were scared basically. We were very uncertain. We didn't know what's going to happen in the future. Everything seemed to be very narrow and very scary. And this is a period of anxiety. That's how March started for us uh, during the lockdown period. And right now, we are slowly trying to build up our... Uh, pyramid of needs. Now, before I could really get into the uh, hardcore matter, which is something I will always uh, recommend in any of my webinars, is that the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Now, Maslow, Abraham Maslow in 1914, a very, very famous humanitarian psychologist, he spoke about the needs, the basic needs of human behavior and human being. And this is what he came out with, a lovely pyramid-shaped uh, hierarchy. 
And we see that the basic needs on the bottom of the hierarchy is the biological need. Obviously, we will not speak anything against it because what is required for our survival is the first thing is air. We need food. We need water. And that is our survival. And only if we are able to sustain that all the three, then we think about a roof over our head. That is a house, security, lock system, and all that. These are all the safety needs. Anything that will shield us away from any sort of uh, danger uh, in the outside world, that is all the safety needs. And once that is established, we go into the love needs or the belonging needs where we go for the better half, for our uh, siblings, for our uh, uh, friends, uh, society, pa the partying, uh, going around with people, with friends, education institutions, offices, everything comes into the love and uh, belonging needs. And then comes the esteem needs. Whatever your community is, wherever the school is, wherever the office is, what is your particular situation over there? What is your particular cadre over there? What is your mark? Which uh, standard, I mean, which class are you belonging to? Uh, how outstanding are you at that particular level? And what is your prestigious awards you have won? All that comes to the esteem, where that is self-prestige, self-esteem, self-concept. Everything comes in with that. And then comes to self-actualization, that is reaching the highest potential. That is the reason of what you are born and your potential and ability to use it completely. Many of us don't reach the, the self-actualization that very easily. And some people have gone, left the earth even without reaching it. Uh, but anyway, uh, speaking about the basics. Now, if uh, why am I speaking about this master's hierarchy is that COVID-19 specifically hit itself in our safety and the biological and physiological need. So once this position was hit, that is the basic survival of the human being became a big question mark. That is questions like, am I going to survive? Am I going to get corona? Am I am, I'm having a throat infection? So will this be corona? Will I be tested positive? Will I be alive at the end of this year? So what is going to happen to me? Everything became uh, around, because the death was imminent. It was very quickly, within a matter of 15 days, the person, once diagnosed with corona, will tend to die. And uh, uh, that is all we knew in the, uh, in the we, uh, times of April. And that uh, really sent uh, a wave of fear among all of us. And all we were doing is only trying to hold food so that we will keep ourselves in the house. We shunned away all our relatives. We shunned away our friends. We shunned the society. We shun everything else, even our work. We were ready to sit in our house with our kin and kith and kin, and uh, you know, putting everything back, uh, 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 you know, from us, and keeping the only motto in our uh, mind is that to stay safe, to stay in our house, and take care of our health. So this is our actual requirement of any human behavior is survival. Now, if you go back to your nomadic uh, stages, this is how we started life. This is how we started to hunt, you know, as tribes and we were, this is the only thing. And then slowly education came up and then slowly the other things came up. And uh, as pictorically, I'm, I would like to uh, show you this picture is where safety and physiological is currently the only things that are solid, where the self-esteem, love, belonging, everything is gone for a toss. It's temporarily, it has been uh, come to a standstill. That is, there are no malls, there are no beaches, there are no parties, there is no education institution, there's no office. Everything is absolutely online. And now when I'm suggesting you online, now this is becoming the new pyramid where Wi-Fi or the online, if it is not there, that becomes a crashes our entire presence and uh, you know, you know, dealing with the work, dealing with the education, everything becomes a huge question mark. Wi-Fi was the one that was keeping us alive, to be honest, during these days, uh, all the, the, the days before the education started. We were, we were clinging to the phone. Uh, Clinging to the tab, clinging to the uh, television. And so I will not give any less respect to the Wi Fi, but to put it definitely to the basic needs uh, of a human being. Now, speaking about the online, uh, we doctors, um, uh, psychiatrists, and uh, any general physician and uh, psychologist, we are all speaking repeatedly. We have done a lot of research and set people to keep away from uh, binge watching. Currently, in this status, if you say six to eight hours, any individual is getting to spend time on uh, online. 
that is either either education purpose or work purpose or whatever it is any child even currently a first standard child has to attend lot of classes and do some uh, tests and other things in online so basically it is average 6 to 8 hours so all we were whining and talking about uh, that uh, you know we should keep the um, uh, screen time less so that you know the, the children will not be affected with the physical and the mental health symptom now there is no other option but to only be thrown into the den and into the online system so what are the basic physical and the mental health symptoms would be the physical symptoms i would like to tell you is very simple is obesity because of the sedentary lifestyle what we are currently having in this covid season is sedentary lifestyle where we are sitting on the chair warming up our seat eating in front of the tv and we tend to put on all of us i'm sure would have put on at least a couple of kgs and look more shinier now is simply because of the credit goes to the screen time and the house time and the eating time so that's one thing is uh, it leads to uh, uh, the sedentary uh, uh, couch uh, syndrome and then of course there are a lot of other symptoms like the computer vision syndrome where it causes strained teary eye it creates a lot of headache and uh, uh, you know the the there's disturbed sleep and these are the some of the physical symptoms and this cognitive decline there sometimes you, there is memory problems as concentration issues when you are looking too much into the screen time this is some of the physical symptoms now there is a lot of work, hidden mental uh, uh, issues which is not visible immediately but which is definitely has its impact on screen time those are the first one i will name it to you is depression it has a lot to do with your cognitive uh, uh, working the way the brain works there is a lot of tendency for the person to have depression there is anxiety and then there is a lot of temper tantrum there is withdrawal the minute even now you will every 5 minutes look into your phone and god knows for what even you do not know for what for what purpose are we looking into the phone we just want to simply check whether there is any message whether there is some somebody who sent some smiley somebody has uh, sent you a like or a dislike or a, you know there a, a, a hug or a whatever it is we just want to check whether there is any sort of uh, uh, information that you've got so this is uh, itself says that this is very addictive in nature that it's a highest risk of the the mental health issue which i'll be dealing with in the next slide is this addiction addictive nature is of the screen time that is one uh, mental health symptom and of course uh, temper tantrum fighting with parents because any your parent will obviously will say to keep the phone off at 10 o'clock and this is how we start fighting is that we will want to chat at 10 o'clock because that is exactly when we really feel like connecting with our our sweetheart or our best friend or whoever it is that is the time we want to connect that's exactly what the nature of this um uh, the the mental health issues this can bring in because the the late hours chatting will lead to a, a more plastic superficial relationship between two people which need not exist otherwise which does not have any validity otherwise so relationship issues is something very really picking up you know, on its major tone because making and breaking a relationship and maintaining a relationship everything sexting everything is happening over the phone and this is lurking because the pre teenagers and teenagers are picking up like you know, really fast and uh, luckily for god's sake tiktok has taken its way out so i would that's one definitely one feather on the cap on the way to go and uh, now exactly how to handle with this uh, you can say that ma'am ninga solringa screen time vendana but then now our classes are online our teachers are asking us to be online so we don't have a choice but to stay online but definitely you can handle this current situation i'm saying this is not just for the students it is for the teachers also for example myself i am for the past 15 years uh, trying to uh, you know address uh, about uh, 50 uh, my pg students and ug students and I, this is our mode of uh, expression and it is so stunted right now in front of this box in front of this laptop i have to sit and uh, you know talk with my uh, my hands flying around so giving exp- giving all sort of expression so that the, the audience will be able to you know get the point i'm trying to tell uh, this is not the same so even teachers are having lots of issues in preparing the syllabus and see to that they are able to deliver to the students that is a huge task for the teachers i'm sure because it is not easy the expression that happens in front of the children is absolutely different from uh, not having the children so it is uh, you have to empathize with the both the way around and definitely this is a big uh, another challenge for the parents because they get to 
uh, view the children viewing this uh, classes they are going so they are kind of also mentoring in between saying that how the teacher the quality is quality of the uh, substance the teacher is giving and how well is my child able to get are they using any powerpoints so even the parents are slowly mentoring it so it is a it is a kind of a very different novel situation rightly not just the covid is novel even the situation is so very novel that we are uh, uh, struggling a little bit to sustain so in, in in this time what best you can do is once your classes are over i'm talking about both the teachers and the students is to please put down your phone please put down your laptop close everything that is electronic gadget which is right in front of you and please entertain yourself with something else let it be music let it be dance let it be cooking let it be anything other than this gadget watch and anything other than tv watch go around with your family be in the terrace grow something put little gardens um, uh, anything or chinna or coconut shell ungalku and the cherry valakam is not very big thing so can sir classes all and getting na you will say innovative ways to more grow the plants so i mean do something you know you know the we, the house looks like a trash right now so one at a time one cupboard at a time if you could just focus on that so this will really help cooking together definitely as a family really helps playing carrom board or chess board whatever it is little bit what, whatever you can do uh, other than the screen time uh, should really help you so uh, this is one way of uh, handling your uh, stress um uh, apart from having this uh, online time and i would now like to stress on this straws and bones generation theory and here if you see those born between 1946 to 64 are called as the baby boomers this is a generation theory okay and generation x are people who are born between 1965 to 1979 that must be most of your parents and the millennials are the one 1980s to 1995 that could be definitely your brothers and sisters and elder brothers and sisters and generation zers are yourself the ones born after 1996 so you people are the generation z to whom we are dedicating this entire session so generation z what are we characteristics of this generation z in parting na the whole thing is these people are digital totally technical okay the screen time symptoms are on the highest uh, possibility for these people that is they are more prone to the physical symptoms and psychological symptoms of screen time which i just mentioned on the second slide and the third thing is both the parents tend to be working for this generation set many of them not all of them definitely but most of them are working so most of the time after the school these children either stay with their grandparents or with their uh, friends or they are alone in the house trying to read up and they are thrown into a lot of vulnerabilities during this particular time and then of course as i told you making and breaking relationships and maintaining a relationship over the phone is again yet another issue these people are, are uh, related, related with and as i should speak about a lot of social skills and communication skills your parents would not have had a mobile phone until and until for the past probably 15 years down the lane when the, the latest the biggest nokia mobile was introduced or i, I think there's a like, motorola there's a huge chunk like looks like a block of brick that was uh, introduced and uh, until until this was introduced everything was face to face when we have a fight in the house we go back to college we go study do something and there is a gap of 6 hours and when we can come back home we try to chill down a little bit and we try to catch up at the same time when there is a lot of issues at school we are over here at home and we tend to talk with our parents or with our sisters siblings or somebody or friends and then we kind of get chilled down or get some logical thinking somebody puts a little sense into us and then we go back to school and we are able to handle the problem a little better but right now if you see if you are angry immediately you take the phone and you put a button where you show a red angry face and there are of course several other uh, uh, emotions showing a middle finger and then there is a poop button and then there are a lot of other uh, uh, gadget i mean the, the emoticons if i'm right are the available with the, with the bad words the one with the uh, bad word speaking emoji all those are available right now so if you quickly press any of the button or just say i hate you i don't want to be your friend i i, I you know uh, go to hell or whatever it is we immediately try to communicate we cut the relationship immediately so that immediacy that impulsivity is definitely there with the current generation 
which is the, 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 the ultimate foundation for not having appropriate social skills and communication skills like starting a communication, maintaining eye contact, talking relevant topics and ending and closure of the topics nicely and then seeing people you know, uh, again the next time and uh, reviewing the contacts. So this kind of, uh, 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 you know, the usual way of communication is different. Though the, the, the mobile has given us a lot of um, uh, benefits because at emergency we need to contact people. It does help a lot. I'm not saying no, but then what it has done to the social skills and communication skills is a damage, which is even something which can, we cannot imagine. And then, of course, most of the children are academically being pressurized currently. Earlier, when the children don't used to study very well, they are kind of allowed to explore into other jobs and um, vocations. Like, uh, you know, for, for example, uh, my grandfather couldn't study much. I mean, he was just about third standard, but then he did very well in business. So he was one of the uh, very leading vegetable market uh, person and he's one very big uh, sale in, in Coimbed market and his life was very different. But that is not going to be the scenario currently. If you're not able to uh, study very well, I'm not sure your parents are going to accept and say, okay, fine, market that is not the, the issue right now. The, the child is somehow given a lot of pressure to make himself study. So for that, at sake at least, they are taken to the school counselor. They are given repeated of meetings uh, with the teacher and the parent and that the, the, the mother and father get their pressure in the home. And there is a lot of comparison between the cousins and the friends and and vagera vagera and the comparison and the and the loss of self esteem of the child itself also pressurizes the child so to so the current generation z is under a lot of dimensions of pressure including the mass media including this uh, mobile phones as i told you the gadget everything gives it though it appears to be very pleasurable actually it adds a lot of pressure to the uh, person and um, uh, I, I would like to have a word about this, uh, the American Psychological Association, which is our uh, trump card, uh, who, uh, whom we rely on for a lot of researches, say that at least 9 in 10 out of these Generation Z uh, people, where let it be both the girls and boys, in equal ratio, agree that they have experienced at least one physical or psychological symptom uh, just because of stress, so feeling depressed, feeling anxious, not able to communicate, not able to concentrate, having a heavily distracted, having some substance abuse, have, thinking about girls, thinking about boys, thinking about um, uh, violent and uh, any other thing. So they are having some issues. But the only nice thing they are also APA is adding is Generation Z are able to identify that they are not well or they are troubled with something and much ready to go forward for help, as I already told you, and that is the case. In this current COVID situation, this uh, scenario for the Generation Z people, that is for the 9th, 10th and 11th, well, the three teenagers and the teenagers, the situation has definitely raised the, the, the bar of uh, risk is definitely on the higher side. Because if the children had any sort of such symptoms, like mental health symptoms, like slight, uh, slight uh, sadness was there, or, why, or, 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 or vulnerability was there, or withdrawal was there, or anxiety was there, or a little bit of anger was there, this COVID has only amplified it to double the times. So this is definitely a tough time for the children and the parents who are managing children and for the students, I mean, for the teachers who are managing these students, it is a definitely, a, 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 you know, beyond the control sometimes. And which is the right time to take help? That is another very big uh, question uh, I, I would like to say is that, which is the right time to take help? Students, I should tell you very clearly is that when you feel upset for a longer period of time, when you feel anxious for a longer period of time, when you feel you couldn't concentrate beyond a few days, and when you feel that this particular problem or the crisis which you're undergoing is affecting the relationship between you and your parents, you and your siblings, you and your friends, you and your teachers, almost in all areas, then that is the right time to talk to a counselor. Just a normal casual talking is more than enough. You don't need to do a big hypnosis and we are not going to uh, put you subject under any sort of big treatment like shock treatment and all that. That's nothing that's all uh, rubbish. We start only with general talking. 
that uh, you know we platter down the, in over the table exactly what the issues are from where you have the problem what are the symptoms you are undergoing what are the reasons you are experiencing those particular symptoms how to handle those symptoms methodically and we teach you all the proper ways of how to do it so that is when you will know when to re uh, take help and uh, uh, I, i should also tell you before going into this slide is that there is a currently there is a, a what to say a concept of where am i where am i right now what am i doing uh, like for example when you do something silly the parents or the teachers do tend to say that why do you behave like a child you know what your age is you're an adolescent and immediately you're supposed to feel like a a, a bigger person but then when you are speaking something like uh, i know how to take care of my my life this is what i want immediately a question like you are not big enough to take decisions you will not talk to me like that i am your parent you, you you behave yourself so you exactly do not know where you are standing this is one little crisis this teenagers and the pre teenagers will definitely have to uh, pass this this particular stage of uh, cat over the wall you do not know which side you belong because even the parents do not know exactly how to handle you whether to handle you as a child or whether to handle, handle you as an adult sometimes they call chinna vayasla vandu ammu nu kottirupanga illa vandu kanna nu kottirupanga en chello nu kottirupanga but then you do not like to be called that anymore but it is their little boy little girl that is trying to grow up and now it is difficult for the parents also to decide how exactly how to handle you so we should understand that Uh, we should empathize both with the students and with the, the parents right now uh, and uh, coming to this particular slide i need to uh, uh, say that uh, the brain development of these teenagers are a little different from the general adults now we did the study or generally science does say that in fmri that is functional mri scan in the studies were done they were comparing the brain structure of 5 year old to 10 year old to 15 year old to 20 year old and they found that the brain of 20 year old is far better developed than a 15 year old or a 18 year old so that simply mean that the frontal cortex that is the brain that is in the right in the front in the nettil irukra and the kudiya area the frontal cortex this area develops only when you are 20 this area is responsible for your ability to plan your ability to organize things your ability to take a decision your ability to see the consequences of your actions all that the periyonga pandra vela idu ellame the frontal cortex da is responsible so the decision making ellame comes aptly only at 20 year old your ability to logical think and rationally think comes absolutely at this time of 20 year old so what happens to the teenagers and pre teenagers is that the amygdala or the limbic system that is called as the emotional brain does the actual thinking for you now though this emotional brain is very as good as this uh, frontal cortex uh, but it also is the center for emotions as i said in, in there is a huge amount of release of hormones if this area is triggered you love immediately there is excess of love you get angry immediately you either slam the door or you throw something or you just don't talk or don't eat and you you, you get very upset <coughs> you get sad very easily that is you cry you you stay away from people you don't want to see them you don't want to talk to them and then you get irritable very easily so all these emotions <coughs> flow in all directions that simply because if amygdala is triggered and mind it the, the teenage brain is currently in this status only the teenagers and the pre teenagers i'm talking about the 9 10 11 and 12 your brain is thinking only emotionally it does not mean you do not have any rational thinking you do have rational thinking but it is not as well developed as a 20 year old that is the one reason why even if you are you know you are into a crush or if you are taking some sort of a decision people do tell you konja yosi nee inno periyavanaagano unakku inno time irukku nee inno valaranu why people simply say is that 
the, the whole reason is or the science behind it is that simply to allow your brain to grow to its fullest potential and then you should be able to take a much better decision and a fairer decision now it uh, i i'm not totally going to say that once you are 20 you will be uh, excellent and great and all your elders are correct and you're wrong no i will not say that i will rather say that anybody about 20 have their frontal cortex definitely developed and they are far superior to you but it does not mean they need to use it you understand the only difference between the adults and you is that your brain has still not touched the complete potential and their brain has reached the current potential the point is you cannot use it because it's not developed the point is they don't use it in spite of them being developed so that is the only difference that even adults make a lot of mistakes simply because of this particular reason they get sometimes too emotional that they take emotional decision like a adolescent person so it is okay but uh, the, to, just to be very clear is that the, the frontal cortex is the one that uh, takes care of the logical decision and that's one reason why we say to postpone decisions uh, of your life beyond 20 now this is a pictorial uh, representation of your brain and this is exactly how a normal brain looks in the F- fmri scan and uh, the the red green yellow areas the light blue areas these are all the areas which are not very well developed and these are the emotion rich areas and as you see as you the brain goes develops by the age of 20 there are increasing purple areas and dark blue areas these are the signs that the brain is developed completely and the frontal lobe is develop completely so the more colors it is the more underdeveloped it is and the better the purple and the blue is the more developed it is so now you can compare where your brain is exactly it does have some other colors uh, though there is purple developed but it is still not completely uh, the executive functions are still not completely done i hope you understand how your biology is right now so coming to uh, something called as thinking errors this is something again i would like to stress is that uh now that we spoke about the brain and that your emotions are really high in all angles this will affect the way you are thinking when this affects the way you are thinking your behavior will be affected as per your thinking for example okay he is saying i am looking fat okay how can he throw such a comment on me i have to bash his face i have to you know punch his nose so that is the thinking what is the thinking is that um, uh, he has insulted me is the first thinking that will come to your head and once you feel insulted the next thing is to retaliate by thinking that you would have to punch his nose but at the same time a more elder person say 40 year old man says hey enna pa ivlo gunda aita the person may say na pa pandra the covid season vara vanduchi your tendency to answer will be a little more chiller okay than compared to an adolescent person because the thinking kind of matures and you don't you do you're not thinking on your tips anymore okay so there's a lot of difference in the way people respond to certain comments and your negative thinking also changes accordingly so right now i'm going to speak about just about four errors though there are multiple number of them i'm going to just speak about four of it just the first one would be the catastrophizing for example you 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 tend to have such thoughts like if i fail in this exam if i don't get good marks in this and my result goes bad my life is done i i will not be able to get what i want in my life so your undue uh, uh, stress on that one particular test and that one particular exam and thinking that your life will be finished your career is done when you are able, you're not able to score well in that test that is exactly what i mean is catastrophizing that's a blowing bloating your balloon or magnifying or chinna vishayatha vachi ellathukku generalize panni catastrophize pandradha and the pattern of think, uh, thinking that is they blow the, uh, the circumstances out of proportion okay for example my friend is not another example is my friend is not talking to me but uh, rather he is talking to somebody else that means this person hates me that means this person does not love me anymore this means this person is is lost interest in me am i boring to this person so that is exactly what we'll think rather than saying probably he just wants to say a hi to that person also now our thinking doesn't work like that sometimes the negative thinking comes this way is that the, the, the friend is trying to ignore us 
So this again, how can we handle this catastrophizing? Is simply by using a Socratic dialogue. Now, teenagers, you please listen to this carefully. It is a Socratic dialogue. If in this case you get to have some sort of this catastrophizing thinking in yourself, ask yourself certain questions like: In the one mark, da, ye life a tier mana pannu ma. The, uh, is it that I can never improve in this particular test? Can I never get a better mark than this? Have I never had better marks earlier? I, I should be able to do much better than this. So uh, the, have this dialogue in, inside you. And regarding this particular friend, does it mean that simply because he's talking with that person, does it mean he's lost interest in me? Doesn't mean the relationship between us is broken. Is it true at all circumstances that this person is talking with this person and ignoring me? No, it is not the same case. Maybe this casual hello. So this, like a Socrates, you need to keep dialogue with yourself and keep answering yourself at all angles, and you should be able to see that okay, it's something which is not need to be really worried about. Now the second one is labeling. Now, if you can speak, think that your your neighbor, oh, he's make a mistake. Probably he's just an idiot. So we are ready to label a person idiot, or we are ready to label a label a person as a foolish person. As uh, whatever the names you are calling, all Tamil names, slang names, Hindi names, whatever names you give a person, we call uh, uh, a lot of people certain names, and sometimes you call yourself also certain names. So uh, the best thing is that please don't categorize, please don't label people. It is okay to comment on the behavior and say that probably this is what they are doing, and yeah, I don't like it. But you don't need to label the person and categorize the person because that see that seems to stick to your mind much more than actually what they did. So the next time you think of the person is the category that comes to your mind first rather than exactly what the person did, and this is itself is more catastrophizing. It does not let you look uh, beyond that. You know you're stuck to the label what you gave yourself and to this person. So that's uh, something very important. And the next is uh, your ability to maximize and minimize. Sometimes you you are in a group and you may may be doing some sort of activity with your friends, and uh, you may feel that you are very good in uh, saying. Uh, uh, please mute your. Yeah. So you may be very good at uh, drawing, or you may be good at singing, or you may be having some skill. But you may be having the first mark holder or the second mark holder in your group. So you will, if you are comparing yourself to this person and see that drawing alone, yar naalum pooru vanga, yar naalum dance pannla, ana mark ondu ortraala matunna irukumuriyo, first mark ko ortraala na irukumuriyo. So that is only important in life to get uh, more marks. So this is exactly what I mean is max, I mean minimization. Ungal kenna da or a ungal the talent randa lo. You're not giving importance to it. You're not giving the credit that it deserves. But you are looking at somebody else and comparing yourself and saying that I have nothing. This is nothing compared to what that person has does. And the second type of people are the people who feel that anybody can score mark, but nobody can sing like me. Nobody can be as beautiful as me, and nobody can be as manly as me. And I can drive a bike with a single hand. He cannot. So there are other sort of people who magnify themselves and minimize everything else what the other does. So that is also possible. So magnifying and minimizing both are errors in thinking. So it does not mean you're confident. It only means that you're superfluously taking everything on a higher tone. You need to think on the basic level. Is if you're either able to identify your talents, it it should be able to show in you and not gloat about like a magnifying or a Minimization. So, how to handle this is, is simply is to reason out. Uh, is it that uh, am I have I never contributed anything at all to this group? I know the first hand, uh, I mean first mark person also is here with me. He has contributed something, but I also contributed the paper. I also contributed giving pencils. I also contributed by giving this one particular idea. It matters because my group won. So you need to. Uh, you know, uh, give, definitely give you the the respect, due respect that you uh, uh, are due to have, and rather than just minimizing yourself or simply maximizing. And the next important thing is using a lot of should and must. Th this is again, uh, children have this uh, tendency to say, "I must be liked by everybody. I must be a uh, winner all the time. I must be able to uh, uh, make an impact on everybody. Otherwise, I am not uh, good enough." Okay, so this must, this should, 
uh, i should not be rejected i should never make a mistake i should never be said no nobody should say no to me on my face so in the should then must what happens is that it affects the relationship to a great extent is that you will never be able to adjust with the gray areas you are either this way or you are that way so for example if you want to feel that you, you want to impress somebody you will go out of the way sometimes to buy them things to buy them chocolates or buy them take them for a treat or give them gifts but still you see that these people are not changing you're going to beat up yourself you're going to say that like enna pannala avangalukku enna pidikka matengu the the whole thing is have a realistic thinking why should everybody love you why should everybody like you isn't it good enough that you have a neutral access with everybody they don't need to hate you they don't need to love you it is okay to be neutral and to have very few friends it is very fine so realistic and logical thinking saves a lot of time energy and relationship problems uh, over here and the rate of making mistakes and you beating up yourself getting frustrated all that will come to definitely a minimum and one more thing is i need not be a perfectionist it is important that i give a very good outcome but i don't need to be a perfectionist i need to work with passion not with perfection that is one something very very important which even i learned because i used to be a perfectionist and i have underwent a lot of enormous amount of stress um uh, in my life so i would see that it is you need to keep your eye on the outcome and how much of passion you're working with it not necessarily with the perfection of the little bit test of the things it is not really necessary and now exactly how are we able to cope with covid the current situation is that we have a lot of time in hand apart from this and uh, on and uh, doing all this online programs and all that we still have a lot of time what are we supposed to do with this time is that we tap your time yeah you can tap your talents you can try everything that is under the sun if you have never tried cooking you should try that if you never tried singing you should try it you should try to draw you should try to uh, sketch in a little bit you should you, you should give your self your hand on on everything possible under the sun and and see whether where exactly are you really good at so this is the best way to tap your talents because most of us do not know what our talents are what is what am i good at i really don't know because all the thing which i'm doing is only studying so i have no clue what the, the the talent is all about this is a right time to give you also enough time to, uh, to you know to think about what your really talents are the next very very important thing is there are people who do not have as good as a family like you as good as an education institution like you as good as the food as you eat today and as good as the wifi and the computers and the laptops and the ac and fan and all the beautiful things Uh, that makes you comfortable and one thing is that you don't have covid that itself is the biggest gratitude you all should have and and and, and this gratitude i'm going to emphasize because this releases a lot of hormones in the brain uh, to forgive somebody and to have a gratitude that i'm thank god i have this releases certain hormones in the brain that keeps you younger and helps you grow have a better quality of life okay and the next very important thing is as teenagers sometimes you roughly communicate your uh, feelings in a, in a very in a very harsh way or sometimes you don't communicate yourself at all the best i will say you is communicate in a nice and assertive and a very natural manner and try not to be very harsh in a way of uh, hurting the other person or neither i will uh, uh, tell you to please keep it away so keeping it away means simply bottling the relation uh, these feelings once you start bottling up you will not be able to communicate them uh, and this is one uh, communication issue that i've already told you is generation z or the main problem is communication it is best to grow this communication skill uh, by uh, communicating in person with the person edala phone la pesa mudiyumo adha mattum neenga phone la pesunga nerla pesanum na nerla dhan pesu udaranathukku amma kittayo appa kittayo illa yo 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 Uh, your siblings at this particular juncture only these people i can mention because we are not going out so you it's okay to sit down with them and talk your heart in 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 a in a, a, a natural manner and they will understand so try to express yourself to communicate that is something very important and please uh, work on some goals or the other for example in this covid season my goal is to um, say for example 
uh, do as many seminars. One of the uh, goals I have is to do as many webinars as possible and to give uh, uh, as much as uh, awareness to the community and society around me about the psychological health of this COVID. So that is, uh, I see to that every week I take one school, I get offered one school and I do give my views on this and this is definitely a goal to be worked at. Similarly, depending on your situation and your cadre, your uh, level, your situation, have some goals and start working towards it every day. And the next thing is you need to understand that your parents, let it be your mother, your father, your teacher, everybody have the same, almost same feelings that you are undergoing. Empathize with everybody. I'm also speaking to the parents and the teachers is to please empathize with the children also because they, this period is not easy for anybody. Let it be, uh, 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 you know, across the developmental milestone, I'm talking about the children to the adolescent, to the adults, to the old age, to all the socioeconomic status, the richest of the richest, Amitabh Bachchans who have the COVID right now, to the people who are in, 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 you know, living on uh, very simple grounds, uh, Ottomans children and all that, all of them are on the same, are all exposed to the same level of problem as we are. So please have empathy and the best thing is to have some boundaries and to please contain yourself. Try to handle your emotions as much as possible. Take help and solve the issues that you have rather than expanding because this is a period where relationships becomes a big trouble because you have to look at the same person's face from the morning till the night and for the next God knows three months or five months, we do not know how long. So it's best. this is the best time to grow and have a more neutral relationship with the people whom we did not have a good relationship. It's all right to just have a very neutral relationship, have your own boundary. And please be resilient. It is all right to have troubles. It's all right to have the emotional uh, breakdown. It is all right. But do not extend it beyond half an hour to one hour. Try to resilient and come back to your natural self. Take little help from your friends or whoever it is. Try to resolve it and get back to normalcy. It is possible for you to do it. It all depends on your mindset. If you think that you will take this as a challenge, you will be able to take back take the proper feedback from people and you are going to take the criticism and the mistakes in the right mindset. You are going to grow because your mindset is what is the angle where your rocket is facing. That is your motivation. If you're facing the sky, if you're facing the uh, uh, water, whether you're facing the ground, can you mute please somebody? Can you mute? Yeah. So it just depends on where exactly you are facing your rocket. If you need to go up flying colors and add an excellent quality of flight, you need to definitely face the sky. This is exactly what I'm saying is face the sky. Take this opportunity to grow and you know show the colors that you beautifully have instead of uh, facing the ground or the sea, which naturally we know what consequences it can be too. So uh, that's about that. Uh, I would love to have a question session because I really believe in interaction and that is the keystone of uh, a complete uh, session. Open to the students and to the teachers, please. Thank you, uh, ma'am. Thanks a lot. Yeah, questions, please. Anybody would like to ask question, please unmute yourself and you can ask one by one. Um, yes, sir, I have a question. Yeah. Um, hello, ma'am. Uh, yeah. can, you, can you introduce yourself? Uh, yes, I am Aisha Fatima from mm. Class yeah. 12. Uh, ma'am, uh, since due to this COVID-19, we have stayed at home for a long time. And this has, um, like literally everybody we ask uh, uh, what they are doing, they are just telling they can bored. So like we have this uh, boredom. Uh, so yeah. how to overcome that boredom during this situation? Yeah. Yeah. See, as I readily told you, this screen time has a very weird way of controlling your mind. We are looking into a lot of mass media, a lot of interaction. We see all the uh, nice things in TV, thinking that this, these are things which we can do in our real life. Actually, it doesn't happen like that. What we see in TV is going to stay in TV only. If you try to do the certain stunts in real life, 
it, it is not going to give you the same pleasure as seeing the TV. So actually, reality is very, very different. TV is very, very different. First of all, we need to get that difference. Okay. So that itself cuts 50% of our problem. Because the reason why we are fixed to the TV is that it makes us happy. It, it's an addictive property. Okay. Why we eat uh, 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 sweet and we really like it very much is simply because of the addictive. So that is one thing. And the second thing is, uh, once you have uh, completed this online classes, as I told you, do not go back to the screen at all. Take a break completely from it until and unless you are asked to go back online. Do not get back into the online. Do something that is off the track. Let it be, uh, as I told you, for your age group, it could be singing. You can indulge yourself in uh, teaching your brother. I'm really talking, make fun of your uh, siblings, you know, play around, run around the house, whatever it is that is, uh, other than uh, you know, involve a lot of humor. Pull your father into the humor. Pull your mother inside. Have a group dance. Do it as an exercise, exercise every day. For example, I, me and my husband, for example, I tell you very easily, I'm a professor. I know that. I'm a psychologist. I know that. But do you know, also know that I'm such a cranky person. I am very naughty. I'm also cranky. So I play around with my pet, my, my little uh, Leah, uh, my pet dog. And we have, we bring the house down. So this is something which keeps my stress away is that to indulge in something that is beyond this online. Okay. So uh, put yourself into art and crafts. Uh, uh, try to learn something new. Uh, help your mother in a little bit of cooking. Learn the little nuances of uh, having taste in the tambar. How does she have the beautiful taste? Learn little things. And, and, and communicate. Speak over the phone with your friends. Something nice, not all the time cribbing and gossiping. I'm not feeling all right. This is not all right. Why is it like this? When we will go out, when we will go for malls. See, as I told you, is that this uh, uh, the malls are not there. The beaches are in there. There's no partying. There's no uh, chatting. There is no coffee. There. There's no Starbucks. There is no best in the beach. Life is gone apart. Okay. I really understand the uh, absolute uh, the frustration of the generation said. I really understand, but the point is, you just can't help it. This is how it is going to stay for the next five months. So please keep yourself prepared by innovatively, creatively making your situation in home a very, very useful one. The more you're going to crib about it, the more your mental health is going to take a decline. The more you're going to make it all right, like you can web chat with your friends, you can have a WhatsApp meeting with your friends, with your cousins, and make fun of each other. Uh, design new clothes. One more thing is please don't stay with the same nighty from morning to night. Okay, please change nice clothes. Wear nice funky clothes which you are supposed to wear only outside. Wear them inside as well. Wear little makeup. You know, don't just put your hair up all the time like a bundle. You know, most of us do that. Only for online class we comb the hair. Uh, that's very possible. Don't have it just for the online. Have it generally. Feel good. Feel nice. Put some perfume. Put yourself in a, in, a, in, a, in a very nice position. Right now, you have a lot of rest. Okay? To be very frank, you have a lot of time. To make it as useful as possible. All right? Have I answered you, my dear? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Go on. Anybody else? Any other question? Ma'am, shall I, ma'am? Tell me, ma'am. Roshni, yes, ma'am. Great. So now uh, people will approach us like uh, how can, like they have mental problem, de depression or anxiety, right? So how can I speak or help uh, someone with that? Oh, that's a beautiful uh, uh, point you came across. Is that how am I to help a person who comes asking for uh, uh, help for depression or anxiety? See, you need to understand if the person has nangle if a psychologist nangle vandu engalukku or cadre irukku there is a only certain a certain limit uh, to which we can handle uh, person psychologically we are supposed to refer to uh, the client to a psychiatrist if the, the problem is a little severe problem so if you know to detect the problem as a very minor problem it is okay to do just talking let's say your friend calls up and saying i'm feeling very bad i'm feeling very sad that is something you can handle but if the person says, I feel like dying, I feel like uh, committing suicide and all that, that is the time you need to send the person to a professional help. You should say that, please go and see a doctor. I am not the right person to talk, so only me, I will get 
so you you if there is a general child i mean uh, uh, your level your age uh, issues and problems and saying i feel thing amma titi tanga i'm not feeling very good this is what's happening to me you just you talking with the person itself is a lot of treatment see many of us that is how we are misunderstand uh, uh, relationships in uh, over the phone is simply because we when people care and talk to us like me saptia me punia me when the nalla irkiya idella keta immediately we feel we fall in love with the person you know that it's a girl or a boy we immediately we have feelings for the person thinking wow you know they blow over and we kandukranga veetla avlo ukande enga amma samachi potirupanga adala kai vetti adu panni ungalku senji kuduthirupanga but adala vandu or second la vandu this person me saptia nu keta adala vandu adichittu poiduvanga so this is exactly how uh, uh, the the feelings for a person happens and there is anger towards uh, people who really matter uh, happens so idella vandu will change into depression so only what is this sort of life why am i like this why nobody likes me in the madri varu so the best thing is what you can do is communicate to this person that itself solves 50% of the problem e enga veetle appadi dhaan di nee konjam adjust panna அம்மா கிட்ட இந்த மாதிரி போய் பேசு நீங்க இந்த மாதிரி பேசுனீங்க ஸோ ஐ காட் வெரி அப்செட் சொல்லிட்டு ஓப்பனா கம்யூனிகேட் பண்றதுக்கு நீங்க ஹெல்ப் பண்ணலாம் ஆக்சுவலி நீங்க பாத்தீங்கன்னா அதுல நான் ஒரு பாயிண்ட் எழுதியிருக்கேன் ட்ரை டு கம்யூனிகேட் யுவர் ஃபீலிங்ஸ் ப்ரிட்டி நேச்சுரலி யூ டோன்ட் நீட் டு ஸ்பீக் லவுட்லி தட் இஸ் வென் இட் பிகம்ஸ் அ ப்ராப்ளம் அண்ட் ஃபீலிங்ஸ் சொல்லாம இருந்தாலும் யூ ஃபால் இட் வித் ப்ரெஷன் ஸோ என்கரேஜ் யுவர் ஃப்ரெண்ட் டு கம்யூனிகேட் த ஃபீலிங்ஸ் வெரி நைஸ்லி டு தேர் பேரண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் டு தேர் சிப்ளிங்ஸ் and let them also take a, a, a good stand all right did i answer you my dear yeah ma'am anything yeah. else you have to ask ma'am uh, i am kadir oh, from chalma chalma can you just uh, say some tips how to avoid postponing the work ma'am yeah see procrastination vand mostly ella teenager and the concept le varum see procrastination is is a The trouble even i have uh, till date i do uh, still have the problem of procrastination adavadhu idu vandu ivungalukku dhaan varum avungalukku dhaan varum na and they kadai ellarku all of us are prone to procrastination you have to understand that it is not a disease it is some natural symptom all of us will have okay the only difference is when people own a mindset ready to complete what is the most important thing i want to finish that and throw it away and then i'll have a nice life if that is your mindset i repeat first edu mukhyamo ada modala mudich tholanjittu you get it na romba slang word la use pandran ada modala mudichiralam and then we will take care of the rest of the things that itself is the mindset where you can kill procrastination because you will be Uh, saying in one particular essay answer and all answer and finish the kadaisi and answer varum adu yena and the answer mele or natam irukadu and the particular na panirken 12th la cro nu irukku something i still don't even remember what it is but i remember what is cro <coughs> so that is one answer kadaisi na 12th exam varaikku adha padikave illa for ever i kept on procrastinating because i didn't i, I was scared of it the only thing is what is important needs to be finished first if you are able to push yourself see kaalaila elundadum neenga enna pandreenga sometimes coffee kudikreenga sometimes pal thechi coffee kudikreenga but saapradhukku munadi kandipa pal thekkrom illaya so pal thekkrathu vandu virupa pattu pandradhu kedaiyadhu you should understand that it is not something we should relish and do these are things which has to be done otherwise we will have consequences what are the consequences you will have without uh, brushing your teeth your breath will stink people will not like to speak to you and then you may have cavities on the long run and unga pallala poti po maximum so this is your consequences so to avoid all that you have to brush your teeth so though you don't like it you have to do it similarly though you don't like certain things you have to do simply because you have to avoid certain consequences have i answered you yes ma'am thank you absolutely keep it so keep it on the priority yeah thank you last two questions even the teacher those who are handling teams yeah, please can... please yeah <laughs> teachers please last two questions yes i think chat uh, 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 yes aryan aryan one question sir yes welcome aryan 
Ma'am. Tell me, ma'am. Ma'am, now like our lifestyle has suddenly changed. Like in such a short period of time, it's very difficult to cope up with that. Yes. And and due to this, sometimes it is sort of odd feeling. Like why is all this happen? Why should we do all these things? So how to cope with the odd feeling, absent mindedness, lack of concentration? Yes. Yes. Like so you to have that how to how to cope up with this is a question. Okay. Yes, See, uh, yeah, I, this is a answer I would like to uh, tell all the teachers and the parents and the teenagers uh, right now is that earlier this new lifestyle is the COVID lifestyle. That is, uh, I will not say new normal. Adulla, one sir, I have told you, Karanga, I will not uh, say that this is not new normal. This is a COVID lifestyle. Adulla. So this normal lifestyle which we had earlier, when we were learning the or seven seven thirty kilamo, we go to school, or the, the teachers come to school, the you go to school, and then you have some sort of work and all that, and adulle when you will be having a break time, and then you have to talk with your friends, you get to study, you there is a change of faces, there are a lot of people you are seeing, and then you come back home. and then you have some quality time with your uh, parent and then you go back to some tuition classes if any and then you come back again so there is a variety in your life similarly teachers they had a variety in their life similarly your parents they had a variety in their life so this promotes to a lot of change that itself solves a lot of problem even the uh, the housewives the mothers working uh, working mothers with the housewives they will have their children and uh, husband uh, leaving to work and all that and they have their uh, uh, separate time for themselves they'll have their own time right now they don't have any time for themselves everybody is in the house so she's constantly sometimes have to keep cooking and all that so it's a, it's a lifestyle that is a, a change for everybody okay so this lifestyle it does promote as i already told you covid will all this the kind of this lockdown has amplified the problems to double the times even the little bit of the healthier uh, families seem to have a lot of issues so it is normal for something like that to happen don't think this is your life forever this is a temporary passing phase you need to really understand that and in this phase this is how it is going to be so what am i going to do to face this is that as i told you have a regular schedule for yourself there is definitely an organized schedule that you cannot do anything about it you have to stay online you have to get see and like pudikkalanradukaga naanala pannama irukku as i already gave you an example you don't like to eat but then you have to eat because your stomach growls so you have to eat something certain things for survival need we need to do adhe maathiri in the classes are something which you really need otherwise will be facing consequences so you attend whether you like it or you don't like it these are things we need to work out okay and then after that give yourself a big break of 1 to 2 hours and the 2 hours like you do only what you feel like doing like you feel like talking to your friends you feel like going about um, cooking noodles for yourself you feel like uh, uh, sleeping you feel like singing do what you want okay you do what you want you feel like uh, uh, chatting with your mother or sister playing with your dog playing with your cat whatever it is do what you want and then come back to your studies if if you are 12th standard especially you will have a, a little bit of uh, pressure as well so for two hours break it but come back to your time so streamline your timing accordingly and see if that you are able to do all of them together ning usually ning edavadhu one cut panninga na by the end of the day you will feel guilty and you will feel that in our life is a thing but ning id ellathiyume streamline panni at the end of the day you feel that yes i was able to accomplish everything this is a successful day i will say this is the motto live one day at a time do one day one routine at a time when you are able to do that successfully it is one successful day similarly when you complete one week it is a su- successful week similarly weeks will become months and so on and so forth and by the time the covid is off and uh, hopefully things will restore next year same time yeah anybody else thank you ma'am ஒரு 
learn how to conduct ourselves when a person is lazy like for example now uh, it's like procrastinating now i don't want to do this work if i'm thinking ma'am how to motivate ourselves sir okay na sonna madri motivation ngirathu say okay na eppadi solradhu i will tell you myself as an example is that na padichathu science group da enak vandu english vandu avlava varadhu in the sense poetry adala maga panikira type kedaiyadhu i write like write my own answers so the english became a very big problem for me and at a point of time i took it as a task mind it i hate english and i took it as a task and i sat iniki da padichida okay i sat with it and i saw to that i dissected that particular uh, uh, poem uh, to several segments and i attacked one segment at a time and i put it in a flow in such a way that these segments i will never forget now say for example we all remember uh, uh, humpty dumpty right humpty dumpty sat on a wall continue humpty dumpty had a great fall all the yeah. horses and all things men couldn't put humpty yeah. together again absolutely pona varam padicha physics avan solla paapom yeah that's exactly yeah that yeah see the point is we are able to recall something which we learned some 15 years back 13 years back okay but not able to recall something we did just about last week why the passion is the difference nee na virupa patta nama poi nama rhymes ella padichom but the way we learned it we learned it out of love we learned it out of passion we danced and we learned it so the passion is all that determines your uh, your ability to keep it in your heart and sing it till date okay endha or part sometimes if you are a fan of surya every surya song you will know but if you are not a fan of vijay vijay song vandale maathirvinga so it is the, the angle you are taking that really shapes everything so pidikave pidikla nanu as i was about to tell you when i when i segmented everything separately and i started working on it i am not going to uh, gloat here but na uh, school second i ta english la i was school second you won't mind i was surprised myself all my friends is like enna copy idichiya apdinte but i am telling you a person like me romba sadharana average mark da but i really worked hard i did not segregate as thinking these are things i like these are things i don't like i did not do that i segregated and say i have to finish this because i am going to get here so have a goal idukku da na sonna or goal vechukonga or passion oda neeya nana ini complete panniya aanu okay and then immediately give yourself a gift you mean it give yourself a gift either an ice cream or a dalgona coffee or chicken biryani i don't know what you are going to have but you have to motivate yourself by giving yourself a treat as soon as you are able to complete that task okay so that is exactly how you are going to motivate yourself right you got it my dear thank you ma'am ma'am now the time is 4:12 do you have a time to answer for three more questions absolutely please right. thank you ma'am thank you so yeah. kind of you pavitra shri pavitra shri can you ask question now unmute yourself and ask pavitra good afternoon sir hello ma'am Ma'am, my goals are keep on changing, ma'am. Why so? See, अदाव दे निंगे वंदु goals वच्चिते goals मातिते रिते इस दे वंदु ओर इट्स अ very good sign that you are thinking. Okay, it's a good sign that you are priorities are changing. It is okay. Okay, I targeted at medicine because my father is a doctor. I also wanted to be a doctor. but then my target changed to engineer but then i i became a psychologist it is okay for your goal to change the only goal that need not change is i i should be able to get at least 85 percentage that is rational na vandu 70 marks edukra ponnu da 
பட் ஐ வாண்டட் டு சம்மா கெட் எயிட்டி தட் இஸ் டென் பர்சன்டேஜ் வந்து அதிகம் வாங்கணும்னு நினைச்சேன் அவ்வளவுதான் பட் இஃப் ஐம் அட் நைன்டி தட் இஸ் பிகம் டூ மச் ஃபார் மீ ஸோ இஃப் ஐம் செவன்டி செவன்டி ஃபைவ் ஐ வில் ட்ரை டு ஸ்கோர் எயிட்டி எயிட்டி ஃபைவ் மேக்ஸிமம் குட் இனஃப் ஸோ யூ ஷுட் பி ஏபிள் டு கீப் தட் இஸ் அ ஃபிக்ஸட் கோல் இதுல வந்து மாற்றமே கிடையாது but the rest of it of what i'm going to become in career whether you're going to be a football player whether you're going to be aeronautics whether you're going to be a doctor or whatever it is adalla apra ad mari the da varum that you don't need to bother but see there are certain fixed goals which you should be able to achieve have i answered you what for example what is the goal that was changing can you tell me doctor to teacher ma'am avlo da adha da na ena solran first 12th mark apdi that is your fixed goal அந்த கோல்ல சேஞ்சே கிடையாது the minute you have achieved your fixed goal then your avenues to what you can become will open you understand sometimes we will think of doctor i also like for example not doctor not doctor 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 i i, I went into a breakdown when i got mark uh, i got only 75 percentage and i was so upset because my aim was i should somehow get doctor doctor na ma na vandu percentage la ma kanake vekkala na evlo work hard pananum na kanake vekkala my only openly i was thinking i should become a doctor i should become a doctor but adik evlo work out pananu adik enna mark vaangunu idella strategically i did not plan that is exactly what i would like to tell you right now is you just plan on this one goal of getting this much of marks and strategically plan to it first achieve that goal break that goal into small goals and achieve those goals then this whether you becoming a teacher whether you are becoming a dancer or becoming a doctor will fall in place slowly you got it yes ma'am good thank you one surya surya now it's your time yeah i think surya says hi ma'am i'm surya my problem is that i don't have a correct mind to think about my dreams and aims i would like to speak to surya surya is here my dear surya uh, the, 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 there's not a very big clarity in uh, the the question uh, he's not a, he does not have a correct mind to think about uh, his dream and aim i'm not really sure what he is trying to ask me okay ma'am let him join <laughs> yeah, I, i really wish to speak to this child as well <laughs> okay uh, so- Surya please get connected to yourself by the by the time Surya has come No anyway ma'am yeah, okay. one more question from Ajay Aditya yes. Ajay Aditya can you ask now Ma'am uh, thank you sir ma'am uh, as this adolescent ages we get uh, many problems like you see mentioned procrastination ma'am mm. how to yeah. overcome this problems ma'am i haven't seen uh, many people who are shining today they overcome this problem ccm ma'am but i couldn't understand their uh, plan how they planned in this age to overcome ma'am, to achieve big yeah very good uh, i'm very impressed with uh, kanna with your question is that we always think avanga uh, eppadi pandranga how does their mind work how does sundar pichai work minded unakkum sundar pichai ko romba periya difference kadaya he was an average person just like any of us the only thing is our mindset was like a rocket facing the sky he was always wanted to grow he wanted to think higher and achieve higher and he was challenging only himself he was not copying or comparing himself with anybody these are points which you really need to keep in mind is that when you start comparing yourself with somebody else that is the biggest insult you can do for yourself is because nobody can you can compare yourself with you can compare yourself with yourself so previous na evlo mark vaangina ipo na evlo mark vaangren next na enoda target enna how much of what goal am i supposed to go and achieve what is my next move how should i grow this should be your mindset is to to think straight forward and procrastination as i repeatedly told you you need not fall in love with your uh, certain answers which you don't like certain subjects which you don't like it is all right but you can develop a passion towards it okay i, I don't like the subject but i wish to know what it is because anyway i'm going to write an answer on it anyway i'm going to attend the exam so let me know what it is so when you develop a passion you'll never know you will really even like it 
சம்டைம்ஸ் நம்ம என்ன பண்ணுவோம்னா டீச்சர் இவங்க சொல் இந்த டீச்சர் எனக்கு பிடிக்கும் அந்த டீச்சர் பிடிக்காத அந்த பாடத்தை படிக்கவும் போகுது many of us even i have done that mistake okay sometimes we we are very you know prejudiced we don't uh, uh, do correctly as per what is requested of us and that sometimes and the madri pannu okay avanga sariya solli tharala adanal na padikala sometimes we do that but then if you are taking the task as on your own you will know that you have to dedicate your particular time for it time slot as i told you and procrastination is something that can be controlled even sundar pichai he specifically see, says that you have to sleep 6 hours a day and he sp- spends a good amount of time with his family with his wife he spends a good amount of time with his uh, social people he does not use social media mind it are you listening to me everybody he does not use social media much and he is a person solla pona mark zuckerberg does not have a facebook uh, uh, user he is not a regular user mind it these people do not give mobile phones to their children but we are all slaves of mobile phones but these people whom we call as the the tall stalwarts are people who do not use mobile phones who do not get into social media who do not get addicted to looking at the different pictures of um, our favorite people and what all dresses they wear put pressing likes and dislikes and all that <coughs> that is way of um, these are things you can cut off from your life once you take away that there will be more clarity in your life there will be things which are more clear there are things which you can see that you can achieve so that these are little by little as you do you will become a star world for sure one fine day so modala in the obstacles you remove panitengnale you will be your passage will be pretty clear okay thank you ma'am thank you so much i think surya has come in ah uh, surya yes surya I saw Surya somewhere. Surya? Surya, have you rejoined? Yeah. If suppose if he feels that he needs to speak to me in person, that is my number, uh, um, okay. I'm going to leave here. It's 98402 I've just typed and... Uh, Otherwise, you can share, share your uh, mail. Yeah. mail. that would be better yeah so if, if you can uh, also uh, uh, whatsapp me and you want to have a little doubt clarified i am all for it no problem right can we wind up sir uh, last one more question and the sri sai aditya sri sai aditya you have any question sir yes can i ask ma'am ah yes. solla ma'am ma'am uh, since this is a covid period and we are adopted uh, Uh, in this lifestyle like we are staying in home and we are adopted using pc and uh, like mm-hmm. computer and uh, many technology if suddenly the covid ends and uh, we will not be able to get out of home and uh, we will be sticking to many gadgets mm-hmm. so that in that type of situation how we can i mean how we can solve yeah as uh, um uh, the as i already told you you have to stick to gadget only for a required period of time not necessary for the rest of the day ungalku classes etra manila etra manila irukku from 9:30 to 1:20 ma'am okay what are you doing after that uh, i will be uh, doing cube ma'am and i will prepare for exams yeah you prepare for exams from what time to what time 2 hours adha enna time read pandringa after uh, the class ends 1:20 to 3 3:30 you study till 3:30 with some gaps ma'am okay after 3:30 what do you do i will play games ma'am very good so you are happy with playing games no ma'am you are not happy with playing games bored of playing all games ma'am okay and, and then what do you do after that i will sleep ma'am <laughs> very good okay now uh, i'll tell you something is that as soon as you finish your class have a good lunch talk with your parents or whatever it is and first please sleep okay 
you have a good sleep for at least half an hour not more than half an hour this half an hour is a power nap at the half an hour the mail up hoche na you night la thoda mat to give yourself a power nap and after that say probably 3 o'clock start designing your day okay you need to you need to design every 2 hours of your time 2 hours for playing 2 hours for studying 2 hours of some productive activity productive activity na something that is uh, useful to you also it can be learning music keyboard or anything that is useful okay so and the mother ninga pannite boredom ngiradhu in the period vandu nama maathave mudiyadhu okay next five months namalukku theriyadhu so ninga idu eppadi ninga ninga use pannikalam appadina da ninga try pannanum as i am saying classify the day to separate uh, uh, two to two hours and see to that you don't overlap those two hours Two hours dedicated for padipana and the padipula padipu matum pono and the distraction will keep coming. Some games, some uh, uh, messages. Ye da unna varada se you try to distract that in two hours. And once you finish studying, do not touch your books after that, for heaven's sake. And then do something else. You understand? So regulate your hours definitely. That will really help you. Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah. Um, Yes, boys. I think it's already three, four thirty, right? So it's not advisable to hold our first person for more than one and a half. So thank you, ma'am. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for our wonderful, sure, excellent, excellent presentation. From the brain development till to the practical problems, you have extensively your help us to understand. And if everything turned to normal, we will be very happy to invite you for a formal session. Face to face session in our school also. Sure. It will, will be very much privileged to have that, ma'am. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you very much. You have a very beautiful, interactive students. I really wish to meet all of them. And if you have any trouble, students, I am there as a counselor. You can call up and you can WhatsApp me, fix an appointment, and you can talk. Supply both the parents, students, and to the teachers. Uh, take care. Stay Thank safe. you. So kind. Thank of. you. Very Thank you. 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 Thank you.